This video tech tip is on basic uh, maintenance of our prism poles, uh, which is very basic. Our, our prism poles are designed to be uh, used clean and dry. Very little lubricant is uh, required. Uh, we do have a little disclaimer here advising you periodically or frequently, depends on your terrain and how often you use it in wet ground. Uh, the point is steel. It will rust on the, on the point body, so you want to make sure you you clean and relube this. Any thick grease, wool bearing grease, any type of grease is suitable. Uh, the upper mechanism, just keeping all your bolts and hardware tight is about all you have to do. Uh, clean and dry. Never, never spray the inner with WD-40 or any type of silicone lubricant. Uh, that's not necessary. Clean and dry, again, is the best operation. Uh, if the pole gets wet, which they will in wet climates, uh, you can air it out. The, there is a drain point at the bottom of the pole. Take your point off. Another reason being able to take your point off, there's a drain hole here. Stand it up in the corner of a well-lit, warm room and just let your pole dry out. And normally that's all it takes uh, to eliminate a wet condition in a prison pole. Our aluminum poles are conductive, meaning they will conduct electricity. So we do put warning labels on. So be careful, do not get it in any Highline wires. Uh, again, they are conductive, be safe. Uh, this particular pole here, there's a little adjustment on the quick release. Uh, this little slight clockwise turn of this screw here pushes against the pad, increases the locking tension of this 5700 series pole. Uh, the other poles don't have adjustments. Uh, the twist lock is just a simple lock and that works uh, by uh, tightening the clamp screw. Uh, other than replacing damaged parts, which parts are on the uh, website, you need the model number of your pole and go to the parts drawing. Uh, they're mechanically simple. Most people with basic hand tools can repair and maintain our prism poles.